Hey, what's going on guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to improve your aiming in Infinite Warfare and make you a stronger player. And before we get into that, remember if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more daily content. And if you're feeling awesome, drop a like on this video and let's get right into it. So these tips that I'm about to give you are all things that I take with me in the game and things that I've done to improve my aiming and win more gunfights. So the first thing I want to talk about and stress is sensitivity. Sensitivity is key in Infinite Warfare. I don't know what they did or why they did this, but sensitivity in Infinite Warfare is so different from any other Call of Duty game. And maybe it's just me, but I don't think so because so many other players have said the same thing. There's something about IW that made the sensitivity intensely fast at like level 5. Now I come from Black Ops and Modern Warfare Call of Duty where I would play with my sensitivity on 8 or 9 and now my sensitivity is on like a 3 or a 4. So do yourselves a favor and adjust your sensitivity to a level that suits you best. Please keep in mind that actual MLG gamers have said that their sensitivity is either a 4 or a 5, maybe even a 6. Next up, something you guys might want to try is disabling vibration. This has really helped me. You guys can do this by going into your settings and disabling vibration. Just switch it over from enabled to disabled. And trust me, as someone who used vibration since it was available in every first person shooter, you should know that it means a lot coming from me. The reason you want to turn off vibration is because when you are shooting, you don't want anything to disrupt your shot and your aim. And believe it or not, your aim and shot can suffer slightly when your controller vibrates. Anything you can do to improve your shot should be adjusted. And vibration is one of those settings that should be disabled. Now believe me, at first, this is going to feel very strange. You're going to feel like you're shooting blanks and you're not hitting anything. But trust me guys, over time, this will make a difference. Up next, let's talk about button layout. This is another crucial point that I highly, highly suggest you guys make an adjustment to. Now, until Infinite Warfare, I was extremely close-minded on this subject. I never tempered with the button layout, but one day, for the heck of it, I switched from my normal regular button layout to tactical, which allows me to slide with the R3 button instead of the circle button. And let me tell you guys, this switch made all the change in the world. I was drop shotting people which I'd never done before. I was getting sliding kills with weapons that had variants with no bullet spread. It was great. I highly suggest making this move. And again, it's going to feel weird at first, but that's where you guys need to tough it out. It will get better. You will get used to it. Another great button layout to use, and actually the one that I'm currently using, is stick and move. I didn't really know about this button layout until Korean Savage mentioned it. And if you guys don't know Korean, he is the number one on the leaderboards, so I take whatever he says very serious. With stick and move, you can jump with the R3 button, you slide with circle, and you melee with X. I've only been using stick and move for about a month now, but let me tell you guys, it is allowing me to get kills that I would never previously have gotten. It's awesome. I, I really like it. I can't see myself going back. Now something I never really thought about before but makes total sense is this. These advanced movement games like Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare are all about utilizing the jetpack jump feature. And if you don't have a scuff or a battle beaver, then stick and move is your best choice to learn to take advantage of all these advanced movements. And once again I'll say this, at first it's going to be tough to adapt to the layout but give it some time and you will be jumping high and shooting down enemies and wall running and making plays that you could never do before. Now in the same menu, if you press square, you will switch your shooting and aiming buttons from L2 and R2 to L1 and R1. Many people say that this makes your shot faster. Even if it's just for a split second, they like to say that every second counts when shooting and that is kind of true. It does make your aim and shot a tiny bit faster, but for me, I just find it unnatural to play like that. I'm really used to the triggers. And if you're like me and don't want to switch from the triggers, then maybe invest into some trigger stoppers, which give the same effect as switching your aim and shot button. Next up, guys, you're going to want to bring down film grain all the way down, and then you're going to want to disable motion blur as well. You don't need these things in the game. They're just added effects to the screen, which can do way more harm than good. 
I play with both of these things all the way down or off, and it, you know, it, it does no good having it up, so just bring it down. Final tip here for you guys, if you want a better shot, run better class setups. Put on attachments that will increase your accuracy, stuff like foregrip and stock, and even suppressors I feel make a difference in recoil. When it comes to optics, use whatever works best for you. Some weapons have great iron sight and some do need optics, but find whatever works best for you. It's personal preference. Also, practice, practice, practice. Play custom matches against regular level bots. Learn the game, learn spawn points, learn how to read the minimap. All of these things will improve your aim, improve your shot, help you win more games, and help you win more gun battles. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Put all these tips into play, and I guarantee you will see a difference in your gameplay. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more daily content. And if you're feeling awesome after watching this video, drop a like, turn on notifications, all that good stuff for your boy. Till the next one, my name is Gray. Peace. Thank you.